Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be another grocery haul with seven meal ideas for a family of five. So it's got a meal plan as well. So if you want to see what we're eating for the week ahead, then keep watching. So before I get into this video, as always, I am required to tell you that as per the CMA guidelines, I have worked with Tesco in the past. However, this has all been paid for with our own money. So I'm going to get into it. The meal plan will be listed down in the description bar below as well. So if you want to like take a screenshot of that for future recipe ideas or whatever, you're more than welcome to. And yeah, if you want to leave any ideas of what you're eating down in the comments as well this week, then let me know because I could do with some inspiration myself. But I'm going to show you what we've got so let's get into it so i'm going to start over here with some extra eggs we normally get our eggs from our milkman but um i wanted some extra ones in because we seem to be going through them quite a lot some weeks and then others we have hardly any at all i got some as a flora i took a tip that one of you suggested a few meal plans back whereby i added a note to request the scent and it worked so i'm very very grateful for that because very very was the one i wanted and i'm very pleased then i have a tall pedal bin liner drawstring pack of 20 my grandparents actually gave us their old bin because they were getting a new one and it was quite a nice fancy one i think it's by brabantia or something like that and ours was a bit gross and monkey so i snapped up the opportunity and i got them and this is what they suggested that we use because they fit really well so that's what i got and thanks for the tip grandma and gramps um then this is like spices and sauces so the first thing is some mild tandoori curry powder I have some coriander seeds, if possible, I try and buy my herbs and spices like this in these big packs from East End is typically the brand that Tesco stocks because they are cheaper per the amount that you get and they last really well and they're resealable or you can decant them into your own storage solution if you prefer to do that but I also have along with the coriander seeds which they didn't have in this form I have some garam masala and I also have some whole cumin as well and I also find that the blends for like spice blends like this are always way tastier as well from this brand then i saw this and i was very intrigued it's the legera avocado dressing it's 30 percent less saturated fat and it just sounded really nice it was on offer pizza express one i thought i would grab it to have with salads because i've really been enjoying salads at the moment i also stocked up on some nando's pyrenees because this is like crack for me I say that like I've ever taken a drug in my life. I haven't, but <laughs> it's so, so good. We just get the mild one. It's really, really lovely with like chips or like chicken or whatever you fancy it with. I also like dipping pizza crusts into it as well, but that might just be me. I got some of the Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce again. I featured this a few times now. I really, really like it. And we're using this in a recipe this week. Then I have two tins of Italian chopped tomatoes and then a tin of light coconut milk just to reduce the fat in our diet and that kind of thing. Then, then I have these six for two pounds, I think it was, and it's soda water. And I'm trying to get myself off the Coke habit. When I was doing Slimming World, I would love soda water with, let me get it out for you, this cordial from waitrose it's the only no added sugar lime cordial that i've ever been able to find and i just pop it in a pint glass with some soda water when it's ice cold and it's just so refreshing and i'm going to try and get back onto that but that was just a ramble about my water preference so moving on over here two frozen bits that desperately need to go in the freezer which i might actually do once i've shown you what they are but they are obviously a pack of sweet corn and a pack of frozen raspberries these are for porridge or like mixing into yogurt that kind of thing raspberries are my favorite fruit and really really enjoy them so i thought i would get some frozen ones to stick in just to encourage me to make healthier choices for breakfast and then some more snacks just because the kids have snacks anyway of course they do their kids but i'm still like panic buying for the school holidays i feel like it's almost like i'm scared um i got a pack of these animal biscuits for a pound the fruit winders were still on offer the Barney Bears were still on offer. My kids love these little bears, absolutely love them. And then I've got some strawberry yogurt flakes as well. So that's that's all of our little stash for this week to go in our snack box. Then I got these sweet potato slices with smoked chipotle and creme fraiche. Just thought they sounded quite nice. And then I have some mini garlic naan breads and what are these white toasty and then two packs of corn tortillas and these are for enchiladas that we're doing now 
these, right? I saw it advertised on the Tesco website that there are now, wait for it, white chocolate Cocoa Pops. And the child inside of me was like, oh my God, I need to try them, let alone the kids. So I ordered, it was like two for four pounds or something, which I would never normally spend, but I really wanted to try them. So I ordered a normal Cocoa Pops and a white chocolate Cocoa Pops. And then it was meant to be this size pack or slightly bigger than this. What came was actually Cocoa Pops rocks and a massive, massive box of Cocoa Pops. Now, luckily my children obviously like Cocoa Pops because they're chocolate, but I feel like I've got some really, really bad sugary cereal in and that is a lot now. Like I thought two smaller boxes, given that I wanted to try the white chocolate one, wouldn't be too bad. But yeah, I'm gonna try and ration these because um, yeah, I try and make healthy choices for the kids where I can, but these do have free Toy Story stickers inside and you know, that even excites the kid in me. Did anyone else used to fight with their siblings over the free toy that used to come in cereal? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, so moving on to all the stuff that's actually good for you. So these are all the veggies that I've got this week. I got some Cornish new potatoes because these were on offer and they sounded very, very delectable. So I'm using those in a recipe. I have two leeks here. Um, these cost me 93p and they're quite big. I have a honeydew lemon, which was on offer, I think for a pound. Then I've got two lemons, two limes and eight bananas. I've got four baked potatoes. They're all random like shapes and sizes like this one in particular is particularly interesting but they're just to have as a quick tea this week and then I've got four carrots as well I have how many three green onions and two white onions here and then I have two garlics now um someone commented last week actually about like I've been talking about how to reduce like my waist a bit more and like be a bit more sustainable because I am getting more and more aware of it and I'm trying to educate myself as best as I can and someone suggested like trying to buy my garlic loose and I did um I used to you know I used to always buy it loose but I started buying the bigger one because it was convenient and like I like the larger bulbs but you're right so I've gone for them I have some Maris Piper potatoes here I have two cucumbers I have these trimmed spring onions but I did order like the normal least ones but this is what came as a substitute avocados um little gem lettuces I have some green princess pea sheets and baby chard I wanted pea sheets for a recipe that I was doing and this was the only way that I could buy them from Tesco so we're just going to use the baby chard like on the side I think then I've got two packs of strawberries and then I ordered raspberries, but we were substituted with a 50% extra free blueberries, so I can't complain there. I've got some red chilies here. I've got a massive coriander, which I always tend to get because it's just my fave. I got some peppers as well, and I got some spinach here. Then we've got asparagus and asparagus and tender stem broccoli, two packs of those because these were three for four pounds. Sorry, I don't think you can see very well, but that's them. We've all seen asparagus and broccoli before. Um, I got these. These were a quid each. And these were just a treat because Bill was actually watching me order the food shop and he saw them and begged and I caved and they were a pound each as I said and I thought they would be handy as like a snack if we go out and I've got mini Oreos for Daisy and Bill and then for Stan I got the dairy milk buttons because I felt like it would be a little bit easier for him to eat. Then I got some Pilgrim's Choice Mature Cheddar, I'm losing my words a bit there, this was a big pack that was on offer. Then I have some Greek style yogurt, I have some goat cheese, I have fromage fray, then we've got Wiltshire Cure Ham unsmoked bacon medallions here lamb mince i wish they would do a lower fat in lamb mince i've got to say then i have a lot of chicken here this is 950 grams worth then finally i got another avocado hummus because i found it very very tasty when i got it last time goat's cheese i don't know if i mentioned that some philadelphia with sweet chili in because that was on offer and then some onion and chai cottage cheese and some soured cream and that is everything for this week so now on to the meal plan and i'm actually really really chuffed with it as i mentioned in my was it my last grocery haul i am trying to see if i can reduce our meat intake not fully because i can't profess to even be remotely even like vegetarian but i do think it will have some benefits in terms of like cost and also after reading that thing that I mentioned last time about like red meat being more carcinogenic, it's just kind of made me think, can I make some better choices? I hope that comes like, I hope that makes sense basically. So 
on Tuesday, which is today, I am going to make a lentil dal because we've got loads of red split lentils in. And we're going to serve that up with some rice and naan. I'm going to put like spinach in it and carrot and that kind of thing and really, really bulk it up with lots of healthy veg. And there's coconut milk in that, so it'll be nice and sort of sweet and creamy, which I think the kids will enjoy. Then on Wednesday, as always with our routine, the kids will be eating at my parents' house, which they always look forward to. And Mark is going to be making us a Mediterranean chicken with roasted veg, which again, really nice and good for you. And then on Thursday, we are going to have pea, leek and goat's cheese risotto with garlic bread. I had this when we went out recently and I'm trying to recreate it because it was really, really tasty. Um, so fingers crossed I can do that. Then on Friday, we are going to have tandoori chicken with rice salad cucumber writer and naan and the idea with this is that it's going to like stop us from like having a takeaway and it's nice and healthy and it is actually something that I would resort to a lot when I did Slimming World and if you follow me like over on Instagram or have you seen any recent videos I am trying to finally get healthy and shift this baby weight because I'm done having children now and I really really think that it is time for me to focus on my own personal health and I think it's important so yeah I'm going to try and make some better choices then on Saturday we're going to have barbecue chicken enchiladas and I'm going to use chicken with some like mixed beans that I've got in the cupboards already and I'm going to cook that in the slow cooker with barbecue sauce shred them pop them into corn tortillas with like cheese I'm going to make like guacamole we've got sour cream we've got salsa left over in the fridge as well and some cheese I think I've already mentioned that with salad and I think the whole family will really enjoy that actually and then on Sunday and we're going to have shepherd's pie, which obviously is red meat, it's lamb, but we've not had shepherd's pie in a very, very long time, and I just really, really fancy it, so I'm going to serve that with some veg on the side, and the kids should enjoy that one as well. And then on Monday, just a really simple meal, we're going to have baked potatoes and salad with a filling of our trees, so cheese and beans, tuna and sweet corn, like cottage cheese, like anything that we fancy really, and that is the meal plan for the week ahead, and I hope that you found that useful. I am trying to film a few recipes at the moment for like a big recipe video but let me know in the comments down below would you prefer individual recipe videos so like if it was titled like I don't know pea leek and goat's cheese risotto and just one recipe or do you like like bung it all together videos where there's a few recipes in one if that makes sense let me know because I never know whether I'm doing the right thing like and whether or not that's how you prefer it so if you just give me a shout and let me know in the comments i would really appreciate it but yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you are new and i will hopefully see you next time have a lovely day